Hi guys, it's Kayla from Adventures by Kayla doing my Compass Cove Resort review. So I'm still here, actually we're getting ready to leave tomorrow, so if you haven't seen my vlog, make sure you check out my vlog of my vacation here for a week at Compass Cove Resort in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So whenever I do a resort review, I do like to do a couple of categories. Um, so category number one would be like your prime attraction. So your prime attraction, the prime attraction here would be your beach. Now as far as how I'd give the beach here, I would give it about a four, um, which is not very great. Now the reason for that. Um, I do compare those to Caribbean beaches, and Caribbean beaches are so beautiful with the white sand, clear water. Um, the sand here is dark, um, so just keep that in mind. And the water is quite murky, so that doesn't, that's not fantastic. Um, so the beach is not great, um, although other parts of Mount Myrtle Beach is. Um, but the beach itself is not great. There's also a line of shells that made it very hard to walk on, um, but it is a very good walkable beach as far as you can walk down the beach and back. Unlike Miami, where you, you couldn't really walk on the beach because it was so like thick, whereas here it's kind of hard packed. Um, but Daytona Beach was much better for walking there, so that's why I'm giving it a four which is by far the worst part of the entire thing, is the beach itself. Um, I will go ahead and say that other than that, Myrtle Beach has so many great attractions. And even though we came during the COVID-19 craziness, um, almost everything was still open. Um, so they have dinner theaters, they have a, like theme parks, they have indoor and outdoor activities, um, they have state parks and stuff like that. If you're more into that, lots of hiking and stuff. So there's lots of options. Um, so Myrtle Beach is a fantastic destination, um, especially if you're not looking for just a beach destination. So that was my first category. The second category that I'm gonna talk about for our resort would of course be actually location. So location in Myrtle Beach. This was really great, centrally located. Everything we wanted to go to is about 10 minutes away. Um, so I would probably give that about a, an eight. Uh, the reason why I'd say it is an eight is because there has been a few things in crime not too far from here. Um, there's been a couple of shootings. Um, don't let that deter you but like um, recently Myrtle Beach has kind of had some issues with some crime um, so that's why I would give it an 8 and not any higher but because it, it is kind of close to the main strip so if you do come to Myrtle Beach and you don't want to be right on the strip this is a good option but it is still really close it is not walkable to the areas that there's like family uh, kingdom amusement park. it's not really walkable there it's a little bit far for that um, so just keep that in mind but you easily drive there so I do really like that for that reason so it's not in the thick of things um, is a little bit off the beaten path a little bit um, next category so our third category is our amenities at the resort and I want to say a 10 out of 10 for amenities because you've got 23 pools you got lazy rivers hot tubs you got a splash pad you've got the beach that is like right here like not across the street it is right here you have like dinner theaters like malls there's everything you possibly want for in a resort destination now I'm more of a road trip type person um, but for resort type trips this is fabulous um, if you're ever just gonna have a staycation for one week I can't think of a better location that's why we've come back here multiple times or come back to Myrtle Beach at least multiple times and Compass Cove has been one of the best places we've ever stayed. Um, now we have been here, this is now the second time we've been here and we love it, absolutely love it, great for kids for sure, especially having so many different types of pools. And it is walkable distance to a pier, but you're right, ne not right, you're not right next door to the pier and so that does work out really good for that. Okay, so next would be cleanliness. Um, so with the cleanliness, I have to give it like a five. Um, do keep in mind though, anytime um, it is a sandy location, you're on the beach, there is going to be just sand everywhere. Just because like wind blows it here. Um, the building itself is a little bit getting older just because I'm sure the sand is taking its toll. Um, so just keep in mind that a coastal type of resort does have its own challenges more so than an like, interior land resort. Um, but that's why I'm gonna say, could they do better on that aspect? Absolutely, but um, it was, it felt very clean for us, like in our room, um, but of course, just 
the resort itself, you know, like I'm walking around outside and I don't have a bathing suit on, but like my, the ground has just got sand kind of all over it. So it'd be nice if you kind of have it sprayed off all the time, but I don't know how you would do that without having standing water and people falling. So there is issues with that and I understand that. So you might have to give it a higher score, but again, it's kind of like an asterisk with it. So we have prime attraction, cleanliness, amenities, location um, and the last category would be service now we haven't had a lot of service now because we did not use housekeeping we actually did do not disturb that way we could just keep all of our stuff where we want it and not have to worry about it and so every time we wanted to get like toiletries or new fresh towels or trash bags or anything they were always super willing to do that um, also every um, person we've ever talked to as far as works here are so friendly the only downside is they have really struggled with keeping the towels stocked in the pools almost every day we were had to go looking for towels almost every day we had to go looking for towels and sometimes we found them and sometimes we didn't and we had to go to this the front desk um, and they of course also had some of the pools that were actually being refurbished um, so that was kind of a little issue as well so because of that with the towel situation I would give it a seven because of the towel situation um, but other than that I would say it's it's been fantastic and super nice so an overall though with this hotel I would give it an eight out of ten which is really really good for the Myrtle Beach um, it is just a great attractions great Great location, great resort amenities, great service. Um, you just really, it'd be hard to beat it, um, especially for what we stayed in was a two bedroom suite, which I actually called it the penthouse suite. Um, and it was up on the 16th floor. It was, scratch that, a two bedroom suite. It was on ocean front, pretty reasonable priced. So definitely check it out next time you're thinking about coming to Myrtle Beach or you're looking at a location for you to spend a week with your family or even just as a couple, um, maybe a group of friends. There's so much you could do in this location that you don't have to just stay on the beach and do nothing else. So if you've never checked out Myrtle Beach and if you've never checked out Compass Cove Resort for sure, then make sure you check it out and it needs to be on your next list to check out. So hope you've enjoyed this. Make sure you check out my vlogs um, that is actually going through my entire vacation and also have other resort reviews if you want to check those out as well so thank you so much for watching god bless be adventurous and i'll see you next time bye check out my blog post that's going to go right along with this with my review as well as some pictures from our trip uh, it's not sponsored this is something that we have just done on our own but if compass Cove would like to send me out for another one i would be glad to go there for sure so if you do check out compass Cove, make sure you mention adventures by kaylee youtube channel so thank you for watching